and they invented this paint with this stuff, you know? So it goes on for a long time, way before. Most people think it comes from the 60s and all that. Yeah. It comes from way, way before that time. They were using it already in the war and all kinds of stuff there. So it's used for a lot of industry and all of that. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear a little bit about the stuff over here. Uh, all the stuff behind you, you're going to see in the dark, like all this gray stuff back here. There's like about 500 pounds of rocks. It's like, yeah, you guys have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> After it's going to be dark, so all these beams disappear. Okay. So just <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's like there, it's going to be dark. You're going to see about 500 pounds of rocks with different kinds of ultraviolet. All this gray stuff on this side here looks very, very plain. This stuff comes the same colors like my paint over there in the dark. It's all natural. These are real old fluorescent artworks made with minerals, not with paint in the 50s. A couple of people in New Jersey were smashing these rocks up, putting them down with tweezers in blue, and making really early fluorescent art there a long time ago. They were mineral collectors. So this stuff you're going to see in the pitch black after. I'm going to turn off every light in the place, especially the paint. And then put two different types of ultraviolet real close to these pieces of art. And then it comes like my paint over there. Very early work. These are different types of crystals. These you're going to see in the dark bit by bit. Some of these are changing colors. Some are phosphorescent, they're glowing in the dark. You're going to see reactions one by one with all the lights up in the place because they're very sensitive to ambient light. And this stuff over here you're going to see in the dark too. These are all uh, things that people see every day. And most people don't look at with black lights. Things like Osmonds uh, Rice, glass from the 1930s, seashells from Hawaii. This you're going to see all the black lights. There's a lot of hidden colors inside of the security stuff too. If you want to get a little idea what you're going to see, you have to come down a little bit over here. There's two great pieces inside here. That's made by a Japanese man that was named Miura in New Jersey in the 1950s. He's the man that made these three and made this one up over here. So when you see them in the daytime, they're very plain. And then when you put on the black lights, you get a little idea of what you're going to see after in the dark. Those are natural. Wow. Blue and tweezers and rocks. So these people have lots of patience. Though. Yes, they did. Really. Um, so it is? Uh, no, they were mineral collectors, but it was a long time ago. Uh, so I don't know what people. I never met these right. people actually, but uh, they were. I would have looked at my specialist man. Three people made those things up there. And then when you put them in the daytime, they're very plain. They're just rocks inside with impurities. Some of this stuff is very old too. That's invisible chalk from '53 from San Francisco. That's invisible paint. It's all very plain. It's just white and white light. And then when you put it over the black place, then you put it on the where it's called invisible. It's a long time ago, that's still very hard to find anymore. It also glows in the dark, it's phosphorescent. Can you make these light up again? Yeah. 